In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how fast Elementor Cloud is and whether Elementor has solved some of its speed problems for us with Elementor Cloud. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. In my recent Elementor Cloud launch video, I went over the features of Elementor Cloud and we set up a site on there and saw how it all worked. If you want to see that video, it's linked in the description description down below. But as part of that video, I wanted to test the site speed in Elementor Cloud, but I couldn't do it because I couldn't figure out how to unlock the site. When I was editing the site, of course it works. So I was logged into the site. I was logged into my Elementor account where Elementor Cloud exists and everything worked fine. But then when I go to actually visit the site incognito, we'd get this page and it asks us to enter a site lock pin code. We enter the code, then we can view the site. But that's not helpful when speed testing. So some of you guys noticed when you go into the settings for an Elementor Cloud website, we have a site lock option. I saw this option as well, but I thought you could only update the pin code. I didn't see this toggle on the right-hand side. If I click this toggle, it will turn off site lock and the website will be accessible. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna turn this off, make the website accessible. This is the site right here on Elementor Cloud. So we can test how fast it is. And I have spun up the same template on a different site wpspeedify.com hosted on SiteGround. We're gonna see how fast this one is, see how they compare. And I have no caching or anything installed on the site. This is just a SiteGround, plain vanilla hosting. And then this will be Google Cloud, which is where Elementor Cloud is hosted. There's also uh, one key difference, the navigation up here and the title. I don't have those on this side, on this test site. And that's not gonna make a huge difference. If it's loading all these images in this whole template, that headline and a little bit of nav is not going to make a huge difference to the speed testing. So I'm just going to leave those there and let's start with turning off site lock by clicking this toggle and then click unlock site. So now it's unlocking the site, whatever that means in the back end, I don't know, but the site will be visible to the public soon and I'll just pause this video and come back when it's done. All right, site lock is turned off and now if I go over here to incognito, I should be able to refresh and the site should load. Let's take out the string of characters. Let's go to the home page, which is what a template is. There it is, the site's loading. So now we can speed test it. So let's copy this URL. Let's head over to Google PageSpeed Insights. I open two copies of it, one here and one here. In this first one, we're gonna test that template Elementor Cloud. We're gonna analyze on the second one. We're gonna test this on WP Speedify. Copy that address, paste it in here, click analyze. And, and I'll be right back when these tests are complete. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. It's all done. On the left-hand side, we have Elementor Cloud, which is hosted on Google Cloud. On the right-hand side, WPSpeedify.com, which is hosted on SiteGround. And we can see that the numbers are better on Elementor Cloud, at least the 58, better than the 43. The time to first content full paint, 5.4 seconds, 2.3 seconds on SiteGround, which is faster. Time to interactive, 5.5, double that on SiteGround. But what's surprising is right here, the first content full paint on SiteGround is way faster, twice as fast. And serving images in next-gen formats is really hurting us over on SiteGround. They must be optimizing those on Elementor Cloud slash Google Cloud because that probably doesn't show up here. And I'm sure if we run this a few times, the numbers will change, but it seems the first content full paint is much faster on SiteGround. And to me, the first content full paint is very important because that's the first time the user, your visitor, actually sees something happening on the page, which makes them less likely to bounce off the site. So having this number as low as possible is key. 2.3 is still way too slow. You'd wanna have this under one second if you can, but this is still twice as fast as I'm under cloud, which is surprising. On desktop, we got a 93 on Elementor Cloud slash Google Cloud, 87 on SiteGround, 0.6 seconds to the first content full paint on SiteGround, 0.8 seconds on Elementor Cloud. Those are really close. If you test this multiple times, those could be the same sometimes, could be a little slightly different sometimes, but that's really close. That is much closer than what we had for the for mobile, where SiteGround is way faster. And like I said, there's no optimization done on any of these sites. I just wanted to see how fast they are just where they are. And one's on Google Cloud, one's on SiteGround. And what I was hoping to learn from this test or find out is that Elementor fixed some of the speed issues they have with Elementor because it's a big plugin. It does a lot of stuff. 
and it's bloated. It loads a lot of code into your site and it slows you down. And unfortunately, it looks like they have not sped it up very much at this point. They might in the future, I don't know, but it seems like because they own the hosting, well, they don't own it. Google Cloud owns it, but Elementor is implementing Google Cloud. They can do whatever they want on that server on the back end. They could make their own version of Nitro Pack on that server. And maybe they're working on that. I don't know. But if they do that, that would be fantastic. That would be a big selling point if Google Cloud slash Elementor Cloud made Elementor sites super fast. But at this point, SiteGround's faster for whatever reason, for, for mobile anyway. 5.4 in Elementor Cloud versus 2.2 or 2.3 on SiteGround. So for whatever reason, SiteGround's way faster on mobile. Time to Interactive, however, is way slower, so maybe that balances out. I don't know. But my point is, I was hoping Elementor Cloud would be faster, and unfortunately it's not. And of course, you can still install all the caching plugins that you like to use, and even Nitro Pack itself you could install on there. So you can make it fast, but I was hoping it'd be fast out of the box, which unfortunately it isn't, at least not in this test. And if you don't want to get Elementor Cloud, but you still want a fast website, I completely understand. On a per site basis, Elementor Cloud is pretty expensive, but you can still have a fast Elementor site not on Elementor Cloud. I show you to do that in this playlist. There's all kinds of tips and tricks to speed up your site, so make sure you check that out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in the WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.